the thing with, with with Adam, every time he would come here, he was like a real DJ, man. He would be like, I need to know what's big in Miami. Right. He wouldn't be on that. I, I'm going to just play what I can play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You credited him as the first person to get you on Serato, right? Yeah, man. He bought me a, a laptop Jeez, man. dude that's love and he man. put all his love, all his stuff like even to this day if i open my thing i have all the am drops the fat man scoop am fat man scoop all his oasis drum breaks of a uh, wonder wall you know as djs i went through a bad depression like I, I went through a bad divorce when i was in, in my early 20s i blew my money gambling which is why i don't go to vegas a lot because mm. i had a terrible gambling problem the only genuine person that could understand yeah, yeah. was 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 am because yeah. he always had issues vices you know with with, with alcohol and women mm -hmm. you know and it takes a dj to understand you the know life, the lifestyle, our lack yeah. of sleeping yeah. our like i'm deaf in one year i have like a ruptured eardrum in one year our diet's terrible we have nothing we have the couple hours at night and i tell people like when i've had like the the greatest times of my life i've probably been by myself in the club yeah. right i've met Michael Jordan, I met Mick Prince and there was nobody there. And then when I've had like the lowest times and New Year's by myself, how many years have you been New Year's like yeah, yeah. Yeah, by yeah. myself? Miserable as f You know what I'm saying? I'm like yeah. literally crying inside. He helped me go uh, to rehab when I was depressed. You know, he didn't have to. Yeah, yeah. No one else did. He was beyond busy at that point. It wasn't like, oh, it was a downtime for him. That was like a, at his peak. I know that when he passed, it was in, in the process of him trying to help everyone. He was trying to help DJs make more money, overcome addiction depression no one gives a fuck about us being depressed right. no one gives a fuck if we have health care what do we do if we lose our money mm -hmm. until then it's been 10 years as djs we don't we don't look i don't want to say we don't look out for each other but there's no one that looks out for us we're just kind of like freelance you know what i'm saying ourselves and if we lose our money we're broke well he really understood he was a working dj that kind of blew up he was like one of us that made it that just he kinda, made it yeah. so we were like damn our, our our boy made it yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying to me i i still get super sad man that a bunch of i feel like there's a bunch of younger kids that don't know what it is to mean to make it yeah because after him who's really made it that big you know what i'm in saying in the open format world no one or hip-hop wise neither yeah. you know what i'm saying